Hi, good evening. My name is Father Rayapa. Today, I need to appeal to United Nations and Western rationalists and all the religious leaders to commit themselves to the change process from business as usual to integral ecology. That is what Pope Francis calls it. So business as usual means the way of production, distribution, for the past 2,000 years, only few people benefited. And uh, in the process, we destroyed the ecosystems. But in the integral ecology model, which is based on uh, righteousness, empathy, altruism, values, moral conduct, all this spiritual stuff. So that is the thing what we are lacking in United Nations and even in other Western religions and Western philosophies, Western rationalists. And they are after knowledge. Their knowledge is beautiful and it is a wonder how uh, they could formulate such beautiful stuff. But when it comes to righteous life, they don't recommend at all. They don't recommend values. They don't recommend moral conduct. So that is what is lacking. So I would like to appeal to United Nations and Western rationalists and Western leaders to go and um, convince the people, the seven billion people, about there is something called consciousness. We need to do justice to truth and uh, righteousness. So United Nations and Western rationalists recommend usually ephemeral wealth or I would call them curses, not me. Jesus calls them curses. Mm. Uh, woe to the rich woe to the affluent societies, woe to the people, those who have a lot of food, woe to the people, those who are laughing. <laughs> it goes on and on. So anyway, Jesus calls them curses. That is what all these institutions are recommending to 7 billion people, such as affluence, comfort, consumption, and rich. Economists to the rest of the world, they are recommending. But Jesus considers all this affluence, comfort, consumption, all everything, high economic curses. On the other hand, they should be recommending eternal wealth or blessings such as love and empathy and uh, generosity, even poverty, hunger and weeping and suffering to their own civilizations. They should recommend it because Jesus says, blessed are the hungry, blessed are the poor, blessed are the weeping, blessed are the suffering. So these are blessings. And the um, United Nations and even religions, those who believe in Jesus Christ, they don't believe the teaching of Jesus. They never recommend poverty. Uh, Jesus called them blessings and hunger. They never recommend. All they want is to remove poverty and hunger and weeping. Actually, these things, they poverty and hunger and weeping and suffering, all these things, they have their own place in the society. That is how the things are balanced. That's how rich people live because some other people live in poor. Not everybody can have everything. I think we should realize that. Actually, their insistence on global monoculture, they want only monoculture, follow our model of life. We don't follow the Eastern model of life. No, everybody should come to our level. Ours is the standard. So that is the uh, recommendation of United Nations and uh, especially Western religions. Uh, theirs is right, so everybody come to their level.
they wouldn't come down i mean the indigenous culture they have been living sustainably for millennia they never want to copy that they never want to recommend to 7 billion people but their insistence on global monoculture their mistaken priorities of ephemeral wealth i will let our civilization to collapse you know that choosing to live by eternal wealth has enabled indigenous cultures to flourish e f schumacher in his book small is beautiful points out a society suffering from spiritual poverty yet considering itself as wealthy is the ultimate delusion this regard western society perhaps can never be a role model to the rest of the world to be followed if one does ultimately it will lead to misunderstanding and ecocide the capitalist development paradigm permits a minority of the world's people to enjoy wealth and luxury but only by forcing others into dehumanizing poverty creating unjust inequalities between rich and poor and destroying the environment since the west is the most preferred model of emulation for the rest of the world they have a moral obligation to set a good example that will lead to the well-being of the planet and sustainable development not scandalizing other cultures and not misleading the other 7 billion people jesus christ warns scandal in these words o to him through whom scandal comes it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were thrown into the sea then that he should often on um, one of these little children so we read the guy